Hi everyone and welcome back to my Morning Report Analysis videos with me, Rich Perry, Market Analyst at Antic Markets on Tuesday 28th of November. Let's look at dollar yen, which has been in this downtrend now. I mean, it's in an accelerating downtrend, really. You could argue that is a downtrend there, um, but there's a tighter downtrend that we've been in for the last couple of weeks now. Um, lower highs, lower lows. Rallies being sold into... Um, and we've seen that again. You could argue that the, the latest bear candle is not as bearish as the previous ones within this trend lower, uh, where the market starts to fall sharply again. You've not really seen that, and the market's rallied a little bit today. This comes as um, we're basically back at this 111 big figure pivot, which is a bit of a historic level. It's nothing too sort of decisive as a level, but it is a turning, or has historically been a turning point in the market throughout sort of the last two years really um, on a sort of a, a medium term basis so it is a basis of support that again look at August and September it's a basis of support that is there for the market so if we start to see uh, the market sort of bouncing off that well that might be a turning point again um, certainly there is room within this within this downtrend for a recovery but at the moment you look at these momentum indicators you still say that the market is um, fairly positive uh, fairly strongly negative um, and you've got that uh, rally high in at 1168 uh, which was uh, Monday's high so that again caps the downtrend that downtrend um, is in place on the hourly chart as well and you're sort of rallying up towards it unwinding back towards 60 area you could even say this is probably this is still likely to be a selling opportunity really um, and on the hourly chart you could say well there is a bit of a near-term pivot as well around this level of 11 sort of 35 area so is this actually a selling opportunity it could well be that this is a near-term selling opportunity to, to have a retest of the lows again, 10.83. But as I said, that is a pivot around 11 big figure, which sort of may, may mean that um, near-term downside potential is a little bit limited. Now, a closing breach of 11 big figure, and you start to gain a bit of traction once more. And you might st start to see the 50% fib level, 109.35. And the fact that you're trading below the 38.2% the fib level sort of adds to that. That is a big sort of area of resistance now, sort of 11, 1170 area, 1165, 1170, again, pivot, 1170, 1165. So they're all sort of, um, all reasons to believe that the market is still looking corrective, but that support of that pivot, 11 big figure, is a factor. So um, with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today, and I'll speak to you later.